Well, Pops, that's your second 20-incher of the day. Holy smokes, Dad. That is your second 20-incher today. It's a beaut. Check that fish out. Oh my gosh. I would have thought we'd get at least one through here. There we go. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm gonna probably need a net on this one. She looks like a nice fish. Nice fish, Bobs. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. All right. That's another yeah. pretty big fish right there. That's a very nice fish. That's an 18. Probably. Hey now, sweetie. Yeah, it's a nice fish. 16. Uh, let's measure. Oh, lift that up, please. Lift that up. All right, she goes from the nine to the eight. What's nine to eight? I have no idea. Nine inches that way, eight well, inches this way. Nine plus eight is 17. 17, okay, so she's 17. Sick. Thank you for biting, baby. Thank you for biting. You That's ready? About the same size as the other one. Those are two nice, we've caught some nice smallies today. Yeah. There we go. Ah, nice. What do we have here? Ooh, a nice smallmouth. Oh, she's big. She's big. Oh, Dad, she's big. You're good. I'll just bring her to you. Another big one. Wow, piglet. Wow, she's been eating well. Look at that. That one. Jeez. Colors on that fish are beautiful. Just beautiful. Might be the biggest, biggest bass you've ever caught.
catch a fish on film. It's gonna be awesome. All right, good morning, guys. This is Hates Wanderings. This is our first spring float of the year. I'm gonna call this spring, even though we got leaves on the trees. There's 55 degree water temps. It is very springy. So far today, we've been fishing for two hours and we've picked up four species, musky, smallmouth, largemouth, and pike. And we missed a giant musky. Um, and we just caught a, it's gonna be certified. It's gonna be a certified 20 in just a second. My dad just cranked it. We thought it was a muskie actually, fast water. My mom's in the back. She netted the fish. Mom, say hi. Hi there. There she is. That's uh, Hates Wandering's uh, Mumsy. We got my pops in the front. So this is a uh, family adventure right here. Um, we're gonna measure this fish. We're gonna get some good pictures and a release of it. And then we're gonna be on our way down river. I hope you guys enjoy this today. We are up to nine fish. I just clicked on that, so nine fish, uh, and the sun's popping out. Alrighty. Put the anchor on. Put the anchor down? Yeah. It's a big bass. It's a big bass. Mm. Wow, big bass. Okay, I got her for now. Can you get us over there to that calm stuff? <clears throat> that one might be 20. There we go. <laughs> Mom net. Oh, that's a nice one, Mom. Oh, there's another one, Dad. Get down there with it. All right, Mom, you ready? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Hey, beautiful. Mom, give her a kiss. Go. Beautiful. Mom, hold that. That's a fish, Dad. Fish. Nice, musky. Work her to the left. Work her to the left. Yep, 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 yep. Good, 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 good. No, that's a bass. That's a nice bass. Good. Good. Yeah, it's a big bass. Nicely done, Dad. That was a big bass. Jesus. Ah, that might be the biggest bass you've ever caught. Anchor. Nope, there we go. That was vicious. Oh, it's a little musky, I think. It's a little musky. Oh yeah? Bring her here. All right. Put yours back in right away. Yep. Nice little fish. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Little musky. Check it out. See him? Beautiful. It's pretty. Shh. Wow. All right. Hey there, guys. Hopefully, it's not too uh, 
windy in the background. We just cranked our second 20 incher of the day. Um, it's just been amazing. And I guess I should say my dad caught the second 20 incher of the day. Um, Tell him about my cast. Uh, he cast over a rock and he caught a fish. It's he's, a perfect little tiny pool. He's really excited about his, uh, <laughs> his cast. He saw a rock, he casted behind the rock, he caught a 20 inch smallmouth. That's kind of how it works. Um, we're having a fun day. Um, four species currently, and uh, no walleye yet, but we're gonna catch some walleye, I think. Um, just beautiful. It's just beautiful out here. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Lots of fishy content. Um, not much B-roll, so maybe we need to get some of that. All right, guys, let's go crank some more. There we go. A smaller one. Even that? Um, maybe she's nuts. Maybe I was wrong. Actually, she's a nice size one. Not huge, but. That's a size one. Look at that. Yeah, it's a big. Oh, shoot. Can't believe I called you a small thing, girl. <laughs> That's probably 16.5. Right? Yeah. Nice one. <sighs> you feeling back in there or not? Yeah, let's check. What is it down there? Uh, 16 and a half. <laughs> I know my smallies. Oh. Pops. Did I literally just call it? On. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, dad, yeah, this one's big. Oh, this one's big. Stay down, stay down, stay down. This one's big. Come on. She's... Great fish. Bring her up, bring her up, bro. There you go. Nice, Dad. Right. That is a nice one. Whoa. Yep, that looks to be another potential 20. Potential 20. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Potentially could be. Are you kidding me? That's a nice one. It's a big fish. Oh, okay. Measure it. at 18.75 hmm. that's a 20 it's a 20 right there that's a 20 Three right there 3 20s in one day Two. wow wow Eighteen point two five. Eighteen point two five. Eighteen point two five. Great freaking fish right there. Great fish. All right, guys. Um, wow, uh, happy fishing. This has been a crazy day. We just hit our third twenty-inch smallmouth. Um, we might have missed some too, but that was uh, that was explosive. Wow! So our bag today, our top five is 
97? It might be 97 or 98 inches for our top five fish of the day. You know, that's not of the season. Oh my gosh, that's of the day. How many fish are we up to today? 19. 19 fish today. 19, and I missed a really, really big, uh, really big muskie earlier today. It actually bit on a mega bass, and I wasn't paying attention and we lost it. Uh, so far today, almost all of our fish have come on Winnow 95. So if you've never heard of a Winnow 95, it's because it's a new bait from Nico. Um, you guys know I fish the Nico Helgramite. Now, I won't show it to him, I'll show it to him later. The Nico Helgramite, I love it. Um, they now have a paddle tail and it's beast mode. It's sick. I will link it down below. Um, it's, I mean, it's sick. It's caught five species for me in the last three days. Um, the only thing I haven't caught on it is a musk. No, nope. we did catch a musky on it today. I take it back. We caught two musky today. I forgot about it. We have caught musky on it. Musky, largemouth, smallmouth, pike, rock bass, and walleye. Wow. Whew, my arm's getting tired just holding you guys up. I must be tired. Can't even hold up this camera. Yeah, um, the problem. Oh my gosh, my dad said he's doing the paddling, but he's only paddled for how long? Yeah, I caught you a 20 incher, didn't I? Yeah, he did. Uh, all right guys, so you might still see some more fish this video. I'm still gonna be casting, but we are heading home. Woo! The women folk. Catch, least wander. I will see you guys in the next one. All right, hey there guys, welcome back to Hate's Wanderings. I am a little blasted by the sun, feeling a little ratchet this morning, um, but I got a couple days off from guiding so far this early spring, and I just got a phone call probably from a client. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Whoa, all right, so. Where was I? That's right. Um, it's been a great early start to the year. Uh, we've picked up some really nice fish. We've picked up a bunch of those medium mouth bass. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I put a post up a couple weeks back about medium mouth bass. And that's basically a small mouth that is at least 17 inches or longer. And once it hits that 17 inch range, um, they just, they start to have these like really, really chunky mouths to them. So uh, I think we should start the uh, hashtag medium mouth bass. Um, I just think they're pretty darn cool. Um, if you guys, uh, if you guys do follow my Instagram, send me a picture on Instagram, uh, share it with my account of any fish you have that's over 17 inches, any smallmouth that is. So we don't talk about largemouth. <laughs> uh, send me any of those, and I'll uh, you know I'll reshare them on my uh, on my story or whatnot. So um, really cool. Um, but anyways, let's get back to this video. Uh, smallmouth fishing has been great so far. The fish have been biting. The fish have been active. Um, I recently saw a few bedded fish, um, but uh, I haven't really seen much of that though. I think I maybe saw one bed so far this year. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened. I don't know if they went early or if they're still, I mean, I don't really know to be honest. It's, it's been a really tough year to find the, the bedded smallmouth. Uh, I don't target beds, um, but it's nice to know where they're bedded at. Um, but I think that already passed a couple weeks back. I think that's kind of what happened. Um, so this video, um, you know, we're talking about these really nice smallies. I'm just gonna be showing some really cool footage here in the background. You guys can kind of be watching and listening at the same time. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to talk about uh, conservation. And it's gonna be a little preachy, so I'm sorry about that. 
Um, but I think it's really, really important, um, really important information for smallmouth anglers to have. So uh, a month or so back, uh, I had the opportunity to um, sit in on a presentation by a local um, fisheries technician uh, in the Upper Peninsula. And this fisheries technician works with the DNR and uh, he gave a really interesting presentation on how old the fish are that we're catching and how long it takes to reach that trophy potential or even to reach you know an average size potential and um, the years that he was citing surprised me like how long it takes to reach a you know, trophy size muskie, trophy size bluegill, trophy size, I don't know, uh, smallmouth. And he had an interesting point that he made, which I thought I kind of wanted to share with you guys. So if you think about like an, uh, a good size deer or buck or something, you know, a great buck, uh, four or five years of age, um, and I mean, I think those are considered like a monster buck. Um, and smallmouth, on the other hand, uh, a 20 inch is considered a monster smallmouth. Um, but in our river systems, that's taking 15 to 20 years. Um, you know, you're allowed five fish per day, five smallies per day. And if you were taking all of those fish, um, you could, you could decimate a population of river fish. And so I know this is me being real preachy and I know a lot of people throw back their small mouth, but, but not everyone does. People don't realize, um, they think this is a, a resource that just is always going to be there. And that's not the case. So if you have rivers that you fish that have a great smallmouth population, that's awesome. But just realize that, you know, uh, keeping a couple of fish over 15 inches, you, you are taking decades off of that river system by keeping those fish. Um, absolute, you know, decades. I could go out on the river today um, and I could keep... Uh, I mean, uh, centuries worth. It, it, let's take this video right here. My dad and I caught 97, uh, a 97 inch bag for our best five of the day. Uh, we ended up with at least 10 fish, um, over the 17 inch range. So let's say we kept both of us, we kept our limit. Um, that would be over a century, over a hundred years worth of uh, fish years being taken from the river in a single day. Uh, and that's following, you know, the, the actual rules. I could go back the next day and I could do the same thing and I could do the same thing. I could do the same thing. Um, so just because something is legal doesn't mean that it is absolutely ethical or moral. Um, and again, I, I know I'm preaching right now and I know there's probably people out there that are really angry that I'm, I'm up here on a, a soapbox talking about this, but it is very, very important to me as an angler and also as an educator that, that, that people are aware that, um, that we have the potential to, to affect these fisheries one way or the other. Um, so the next time you're fishing, uh, just kind of, you know, have that in the back of your mind that it takes a very long time to raise these fish, to grow these fish in northern uh, latitudes. Um, you know, obviously in the southern smallmouth fisheries, they might have a 12-month growing season. But up here, we have like a five month growing season so the fish grow slow well the fish is huge and it takes it takes a very very long time um i've lived in the up now for one one decade i've lived here for 10 years and uh you know a fish that was spawned and and hatched 
10 years ago is now still potentially only in like the what 16 inch range maybe i don't know something like that um it's kind of crazy when you think about that um but anyways back to this video uh we had it such a great time the fishing was phenomenal uh, my dad had fun. My dad caught two 20-inch bass in a single day. That was the best he's ever done. Uh, I caught a single 20 myself, and I was really happy with that. Uh, I was using a Winnow 95, which is a new bait by uh, Nico. They make the Nico Helgramite, which, if you guys watched my channel before, I love the Nico Helgramite. Um, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm like a power fisherman. I want to move. I want to get. I want to just cast. And, and be working water at all times. The Nico is finesse, it's slow, and for that reason, I don't use it all the time. I like to be moving with the current, and so this Winnow 95 is a paddle tail, and since you're moving with the current, you can work it fast, and uh, I really enjoyed fishing with it. Uh, we caught almost, I don't, I'm not gonna say all the fish on it, but we caught, we caught a lot of fish on this Winnow 95. So, um, it's extremely, um, I don't have one with me right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop being lazy. I'm going to, I'm going to pull one out. This is my new, uh, soft plastics bag, by the way. All right, let's see. It's probably on the other side. Got a 50% chance to... Got the right side, and I pulled the wrong side, guys. Here it goes. I'll show you the Winnow 95. Here we go. All right. All right, there. Let's see if that'll uh, focus in. Oh, boy. There she goes. There she goes. Now I want to show you something. It's kind of cool. How far across are we? That right there is a soft plastic. It's not going to get absolutely demolished. Uh, Nico Helgramites, you guys know they're super durable. This thing, super durable. Um, don't get me wrong. I like fishing Kitex. Kitex are fun. Kitex catch fish. Um, but there are certain situations where do you really want to throw, you know, 20 Kitex in a single day? Because um, they're going to get absolutely demolished by the fish. Um, or do you want to throw a single <laughs> Winnow 95 and um, it'll basically stay good all day long? I much prefer the uh, single bait that I don't really have to go back and play with. Um, I prefer that every day. All right. Um, let's see. This video is probably coming to an end. Um, my goal is to get a single video out per month um, over the next June, July, August time frame. Um, come September, I'm back to teaching. And I have a lot more time. I know that sounds crazy. I have more time when I'm doing my, my real job. But um, uh, in the summers, I just don't have any time. Um, which is good. <laughs> I'm out on the water fishing. Or, you know, guiding. Uh, but, but I don't have any time. So these videos uh, that you do see over the next couple months, uh, they might not be perfect. Um, but... They are as perfect as they can be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, that's about it for today. Catch, release, wander. I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, hashtag medium mouth bass. Go to my Instagram, share it with me. Uh, I will be sharing those uh, videos on my feed or, or whatever it's called. Um, all right, let's get rolling.
Uh, silly head. That was a big beaver. That was a super big beaver right there.